On this week's Throne Chronicle, we head to Boston, check out Comlax, and see the MLL All-Star Game. Alright, so Chris and I are making a last minute trip to Boston to go see the All-Star Game and uh, just check in with some friends, so that should be good. Chris is already waiting in the car because we're parked legally. I got two fresh balls, so we have balls to go throw around with some guys. Got a bunch of free stuff in my bag. Got my stick and got a change of clothes. Uh, should be a great day. Chris, you're in the wrong seat. Before our trip, of course we need that. Good good. That good good. So we're going to AP to get some coffee and I think Chris wants a little Danish. You want a little Danish? Small coffee. So, oh, and this guy in his BMW is lurking at me for blocking the street, but he's an entire little 5 Series. You can fit by. Look how much room there is. How much room? Sorry we roll around this. Yeah, tank. sorry we have a tank. One done. All right, and we're just, we're just back. Oh, now we're going forward? Now we're going forward. Now we're going forward. Now we're through. Oh, you're good. Good, good thing you looked before you pulled out. You're good. Oh, you need to make a right there. All right. Massachusetts is this healthy, so I gotta stop being weird. Now that's a lacrosse head. Look, there's only one left. Doing so well, it's such a pretty head. Don't know about this thing. This thing is kind of scary. What team is? That's the Army edition. This store is unbelievably huge and pretty awesome. Now we're gonna go to the hockey side. Chris, let's go to the hockey side. I don't know what that is. What, what's over there? I don't know <laughs> what that looks like. Getting the first look at the new uh, STX hockey sticks. They look pretty nice. I mean, it's black and yellow, so of course I'm gonna like it a little bit, but it got a pretty cool look to it going all the way up. This is the dark one with the stallion. I don't know why everything's gonna have 500 on it now and make everything confusing, but stallion one, and they also have the surgeon. Um, little hockey review. Blades are a little simple, but they got nice graphics, decent flex, it seems like. Uh, so not bad, not bad. And now we get to the real sticks. And here's my stick. Perfect curve, cut it down a bunch, good to go. Let's see, buddy. I think you parked in a handicap spot. I did. <laughs> Fight like a crow! We just left the giant Comlax in Burlington, Massachusetts. Absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. Uh, really awesome, have an amazing selection. They even had box gear, which I thought was really cool. I saw that. And uh, we picked up some cool shirts. Um, I'm gonna wear one in, <laughs> well, I'll take Chris's then. And uh, you happy with that? No, you got it. And now we're heading um, into Cambridge. Got about a 30, <laughs> 30 minute trip into Cambridge for the All-Star Game. Uh, a little behind schedule, that's because we caught, caught up talking to some cool guys. Uh, so we're heading there now to meet up with Cross.com and uh, some friends at Maverick and Caste. It should be a great night, and apparently Chris is invited anymore. That's how we follow. I catch case and I go to jail. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
think we're heading right over to Cascade to see our buddies. And then uh, gonna get some food, hang out for a bit in the fan zone, and then catch some big games. Silent Train? Yeah. And your name? Sean. Sean, nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Hey, Chris has got some free stuff for you because you're the first throne people we've met. Sorry. Chris, get up free stuff. Demo! What's up? Camera hug, camera hug. Hey, guy. Oh, I just got a metric right. for the face. What's up, dude? No. Camera hug, camera hug. Oh. What are you doing here? Yeah. That's awesome. Self yeah, right. Oh, this is getting mad net up. Filming a filmer. See that? See Filming that? a filmer. <laughs> I remember staring at this. It's awesome. Oh. I'm just gonna be handy. There's gonna be none of you left. That's fine. I wanna throw with you so bad. Um, I got a ball in my bag. I know, yeah. Thank you. I do. I know, I do. I need to take a selfie with you. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh, oh like I this? missed it. I missed, yeah. right? Three, two, one. <laughs> well done. Right. I just dropped the camera. Come on, come on, sweetheart. Ow, oh, get this off my head. <laughs> Please get this off my head. You're so beautiful. I got three kids. What? This is not really your speed, but that's, that's good, though. That's good. That's a good deal. Okay, that's sick. That's that old school. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, buddy? Of course. <laughs> this might be one of the nicest things I've seen in a very long time. Look at Chan. Coming to the VIP lounge? Where are you? And I was like, where are you guys? And we looked at the tickets and we're supposed to be in the end zone all the way. Over right over there. With all the cool kids, but we're not. We're Steven Glansberg in <laughs> So we're, we're just not going. Wow, the kids are one six. 
He's a walk on. He's a walk on. Chicago. I feel like Happy Gilmore right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go put him in my car and drive home. So, what's your name on? Zach Dorn. Don't worry, Zach. <laughs> and how do you feel to break the MLL fastest shot record? Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good? good. Yeah. Pretty good? Yeah. How, do we train hard for this? Yeah, decently. Uh, I work at the black shop in Chicago. We have a shooting cage, so a lot of hours have been spent in there on uh, company time. Don't tell my boss. <laughs> We got to hang out with a lot of our buddies, got to see a great game, <laughs> got to hang out on the field, uh, I got to meet a lot of fans, give a lot of, away a lot of stuff, and now we're heading to uh, Pinocchio's Pizza because Chris has never been there in Cambridge, so that's going to be a lot of fun, and I know uh, Eve's going to be jealous, but um, sorry Eve, sorry Eve, sorry Eve. <laughs> like, right. It's not like you this, know, this it's isn't not weird. Like <laughs> Saturday, this is my new M knob. He's trying to shoot 117, gotta break the world record. Yeah, dude, look at this. Look at that. I like a nice, uh, you know, halfway around the hand <laughs> kind of grip, but I can really get the torque on it. Really get that full donut going. Yeah. Hey. Hello, sir. Are you taking off? Just stringing. Just stringing. Stragging. Uh, Boston, Boston, Boston. All I gotta say is Boston. Heading back to New York through Connecticut, and uh, Chris just realized and reminded me that fireworks are legal in Connecticut. So we're taking a detour. We're taking a detour. Update on where we're going to get fireworks. We are going to Uncle Guido. Uncle Guido's fireworks. So uh, you have to take Oh, <laughs> Uncle Guido's firework emporium. So you, you know it's good. You know it's good. And this is not a sponsorship right now, but I hope it becomes one. So apparently Uncle Guido didn't do so well as Emporium and now it's closed and Chris is really sad. <laughs> so Chris just gave uh, Uncle Giuseppe a call and Guido. Uncle Guido Get all your fireworks needs at Uncle Guido's. <laughs> Let me help you blow stuff up. <laughs> and apparently they moved down the streets. Uncle mile. Guido, he's coming in hot. <laughs> so we're heading there now.
Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wait, should I be back? No, 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 no. You gotta get a good shot. Oh no! My <laughs> character's up, yo. Absolutely amazing day. Got so much done. Started bright and early, 8 a.m. in Boston. Drove here, had meetings in the car, figured out lenses, answered emails out of the office today so I'd catch up on store orders and just stuff we're working on. Did a giveaway for the Vital Head with lacrosse.com. Uh, packed all the jerseys, well, got the jerseys, packed them all up, sorted them, took some photos of them. Oh, God. The list goes on. It doesn't matter. Got it all done. Oh, and I strung a pita with Mac today to replace from last week, and it looks amazing. You guys will see it soon. Um, exhausted, but everything's ready to go in the morning. I had camera packed, gear bag packed, uh, all the guys' jerseys, kind of all the stuff we need to run the team. Um, I'm probably forgetting stuff, but it's all laid out. It looks awesome. Excited for the morning. Big tournament tomorrow on Randall's Island. Salt Shaker is going to be some really good competition. Going to see a bunch of people I haven't seen in a while. Play with a bunch of people. It's going to be an amazing day. I just got to get some sleep. I got like four games tomorrow and I got to film and run a team. So uh, that's everything. Going to bed. You know it's early in the morning when the coffee shop isn't open yet. Up bright and early on a Saturday, heading to Randall's Island, which is in between Queens. It's, it's actually an island in between Queens and Manhattan. Very excited for the day. Going to be playing with all my boys, playing some field lacrosse. Uh, didn't sleep too much last night because I think I'm a little bit too excited, but got a uh, good breakfast right on time and headed to the game. I got my new Tomahawks on, so it should be a great day. Buddy Otto over here dropped the head off last week and he has no idea, but there she is. Sexy. So we have uh, the new Vital, a little privateer, a little throne edition. What do you think? Love it. Awesome, awesome. job. I missed you. I love this too, bro. You smell, smell better than we smell on the internet. <laughs> Thanks, man. I didn't shower for like a day and a half. So this is why I'm friends with Otto, besides that he's just a good lacrosse player. He brings me cool toys. I'm literally gonna break this. This has insurance, right? Exhausted, heading home. Just played three games. Uh, we did well. We went two and one, and uh, we had a good chance to win the first one. But our face-off guy and one of our main defenders wasn't there. Uh, but they were a good team. A lot, a lot of Bucknell kids. They had an Ohio State face-off guy. Um, but we played well. Our goalies did really well. That's made me really happy because they're friends of mine. And uh, everyone had a lot of fun. No bickering. No arguments. None of that. Uh, just a bunch of really good guys playing some lacrosse. Be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think the coolest thing was from this week's episode.